Kirk Junge here from LearningGolf.tv. Today showing you a long chip shot. This chip shot is 60 feet long, so about 20 yards. And the flight distance though is only about five feet. So, so the ball only needs to carry the fringe of the green and fly to here and then roll the rest of the way, which is downhill with a break to the left. So I'm gonna aim out to the right of the flag down there that you see. And I've chosen a six iron for this shot. And that's because I wanna keep it as close to a putt as possible uh, to make it the easiest I can to get the ball close enough to the hole uh, for a one putt paw. So as always, my setup's going to have the club uh, in line with my trailing arm on the same plane so that I can swing back and through on the same plane like a pendulum. So basically it will look like this and I'm using my body to move the club and the goal is simply to carry the ball a short distance and let it run down to the hole. It should look pretty much like a putt. So it's running down there. Looks like it's going to be pretty good. About three feet from the hole. And my goal for this practice is to get all three balls close to the hole. And that's a sign that I've chosen the right club for the shot. I will have some people that will say just use a wedge or I could use any of my clubs to get it close. Uh, but I couldn't get them close every time. Like with a sand wedge or lob wedge, it'd be more difficult to get them close, if not impossible. I want to get them all about the same. My hands are relaxed. I landed it right where I wanted. See how it comes out. About three feet from the hole. And again, so my goal is just to be able to find the easiest way uh, to do this. Landed it right where I wanted. That one might go in. No. But also, all of them are within three feet. You might ask, why not use a putter? And that would be a great question. It's just because running through some of this grass might make it a little bit more difficult than it is to consistently do this. But you could certainly try uh, hitting some shots with a putter, hit three balls, hit three balls with a rescue club, hit three balls with a nine iron, hit three balls with a sand wedge, and compare and through this type of practice, you can find out what works best for you. And this is something we do in my schools uh, so that everybody has a great idea and knows what club to use in what situation. So visit learninggolf.tv for more info. And please click the red subscribe button below and like this video. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.